Welcome to e Sikshana program, uh, VTU. Uh, my special thanks to uh, uh, VTU e Sikshana group uh, given me the opportunity uh, to do this uh, class. Uh, myself, uh, Dr. Amarnath, uh, professor uh, in AJIT Civil Department, Mangalore. Uh, now, uh, about the solid waste, uh, first model and uh, third and fifth. Uh, model I will explain in this uh, uh, this uh, explanation of uh, this VTV Sikshana. Solid waste management, you all know what is solid waste uh, management, it is uh, unwanted uh, waste, okay, uh, which is, uh, 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 it, it is thrown out, that is the solid waste. Uh, in this, you can check what is solid waste, okay. See, the material that is discarded as useless or unwanted is considered as a waste, okay. Uh, this is the solid waste. Now, olden days, this is, uh, we are throwing that waste and uh, uh, it is not used again. Now, the technology is improved, our Swachha Bharata and uh, uh, this one, uh, smart city, everything, our uh, Modi ji, he has uh, announced Swachha Bharata and uh, this was smart city. In this, we are using all the materials, okay, solid waste, all the material we are using once again. Uh, it may be recycled or it may be composed, okay, some organic uh, waste are uh, made it composed and uh, recycled material and different categories of the material we are segregating and it is used. Now, uh, in olden we are say, olden days we are saying this material are discarded as useless and unwanted as considered as a waste no nowadays waste to energy waste to composting and recycling and this all we will uh, use the waste once again this one this is uh, nowadays uh, due to this one smart city and uh, uh, Bharata, we are uh, in all the municipality we are separating the waste into two category, one is uh, wet waste, another one is the dry waste. This wet waste goes to the uh, this one composting and uh, other material are uh, doing the other uh, this one, and uh, dry waste is segregated and it is goes to recycling or uh, for me all this mixed with the uh, making energy and gases uh, and production of electricity. Everything I will explain in this. Okay, solid waste is a very important. Nowadays, throughout the world, this is the major problem, okay. Uh, Indore is the one of the uh, city, zero waste and uh, clean city, okay, we are, that is considered. And uh, so many cities are now, nowadays, this uh, so due to Swachha Bharata and uh, we are uh, Swachha Bharata and to, due to smart city, okay, we are clean city, uh, uh, cities are kept clean and uh, zero waste we are considering some of the cities in India also. Throughout the world, uh, this is the major problem, solid waste. Now, technology improved and all the waste are converted into energy and it may be manure and it may be recycled, okay. This is the one of the procedure, uh, process of uh, solid waste, okay. Dear student, uh, this solid waste is very important. It is, uh, we won't throw this nowadays, okay, we are using it. It is, it is a big business now going on to convert it into uh, waste to energy. We are getting the electricity, we are getting the manure, it is taken by the recycling industries and it is recycled. This is a very, very important, okay. Now we go for what is the solid waste management, okay, we can see the solid waste. See here, uh, some of the solid waste, we are dumping the waste. It is eaten by the animal, plants and it moves to the water. It is very dangerous, okay. And uh, it is uh, toxic, it moves to the uh, ground water. We have only fresh water, this is the ground water. In that also, we uh, that we uh, leachates, it moves to the ground water, water become contaminated. And uh, this is the problem. In the uh, this one, see uh, animals and uh, this is the solid waste dumping. Uh, we will dump that waste. Dog will wait, birds will wait, and uh, they will get this is a human and uh, contaminate water become contaminated. We drink the water, and uh, we uh, soil is contaminated. 
and uh, all this this is a problem for us okay proper management is done otherwise it is very difficult to uh, manage this okay and okay see here it moves to the waste moves to the water say moves to the water and water become contaminated sources of water become contaminated so proper management is required it shows the without uh, manage uh, managing the solid waste if you throw it uh, uh, throw it to the river or uh, throw it to the ground uh, proper management is not there uh, health uh, problem and everything it moves to the atmosphere also some of the and that's a problem we are facing today okay this is a, so we have to manage we have to properly manage the solid waste okay so we are managing nowadays all municipality and uh, all uh, this one uh, all municipalities and uh, uh, city corporation or uh, anything they will separate two waste wet waste and dry waste every household or it may be industry uh, it may be commercial or anything they are separating two waste wet waste and dry waste it is taken by the municipality this one uh, collection of the waste and they are segregated separately wet waste goes to the this one composting and dry waste goes to the recycling and some other process okay next we go for the management very important we will study okay what is solid waste management see solid waste if we throw the solid waste okay through the ground or anywhere that's very difficult to manage this is the management is the one of the biggest task this is a process first one is the collection okay second one is the transport okay and processing recycling and disposal and monitoring of the waste material is called solid waste management okay first collection very important the collection of the waste okay we are collecting the waste all the household we are uh, collecting see they uh, now uh, in uh, olden days uh, they are uh, throwing the waste uh, uh, where there is a, uh, here in the uh, outside the gate or anything we have to collect from there now nowadays there are strict rules uh, from the government okay to waste uh, separated two wastes are separated dry waste and well that we are collecting the waste okay collecting the waste by the Mm, from that uh, this one it may be container it may be cover or anything that is collected by the okay this uh, management people uh, solid waste man, and it is transferred by the uh, transported by the vehicle okay different types of vehicle i will explain in the next class okay and it is segregated processing is the segregated okay it is segregated processing is done dry waste is uh, dry waste is segregated which is for recycling which is for other things that is separated and uh, recycling part is uh, one of the this one and other remaining is disposed in the uh, this one okay a uh, land site okay disposal in the land that uh, that already i will explain i will explain uh, uh, this one in this also okay and monitoring the waste is very important this management is properly work or not this monitoring by the government people that is also very very important okay i will tell which are the, this one it municipality people or dc district commissioner or uh, it may be a collector or a uh, district commissioner and uh, uh, all the government officials okay it may be government pollution control board air pollution board air pollution control board central uh, pollution control board so many authorities who are monitoring this waste okay this is the solid waste and waste management how to manage solid waste and waste management okay and this is a very very important process solid waste also nowadays a very important uh, criteria okay and managing the solid waste also very very important okay day by day our population is increasing okay increase of the waste okay uh, waste also increasing we have no space for a dump site uh, near the city okay so proper management is done okay that's a very important next slide we go for first 
Okay, module one. Module one, uh, we will study sources of solid waste, which are the sources. Okay, types of the solid waste. Okay, types of the solid waste and physical composition of uh, solid waste. Okay, and chemical composition of solid waste. Okay, municipal solid waste or uh, municipal solid waste. Okay, next we go for uh, next generation rate one numerical problems collection of uh, solid waste okay and service and system equipments this uh, this one okay equipment what we are using okay transportation need of transportation operation transportation uh, this was station transportation mean and method route optimization solid waste management 2000 rules with the 2016 amendment okay this is transportation uh, need of transportation operation transportation station transportation mean and method route optimization solid waste management rules with 2016 amendment these are the this is the first model uh, in the first model these are the okay uh, we have to study okay in the first model okay one by one okay sources of solid waste very important we will start our first model first point sources first one is the domestic waste see solid waste domestic waste second one is the commercial waste third one institutional waste fourth one factory waste fifth one waste to oil factory a waste from oil factory and e waste and construction waste okay these are the waste uh first one domestic waste second one commercial fourth one institutional and factory waste waste from the oil uh, factory e waste and construction waste these are this waste okay and uh, another one is agriculture waste food waste biomedical waste okay and uh, nuclear waste these are the sources of solid waste okay one by one sources okay domestic waste commercial waste institutional waste factory waste waste from the oil factory e waste construction waste okay and uh, agriculture waste food processing waste biomedical waste and nuclear waste these are the sources of solid waste where waste come from okay these are the 11 uh, this one from other also from the mining uh, so many things uh, sources are there i will explain in this are the 11 what are the sources of uh, solid waste okay uh, and uh, from where you will get from how and everything i will explain one by one okay now sources of domestic waste see single family it may be uh, residential uh, uh, okay uh, independent house and multi family dwelling okay multi family okay so uh, two floor houses or anything okay apartments okay big apartment it may be uh, 25 floor 30 floor or lower medium or so many apartment we will get the solid waste and villas villas also we will get the solid waste okay it may be single independent single family house it may be uh, two three houses or uh, it may be layout okay it may be layout also one of the source and uh, high and low apartment higher uh, multi uh, storage apartment and uh, anything and villas this is uh, waste coming from the domestic waste okay sources of waste coming from the domestic waste okay see here waste from the domestic waste save from the night we are using uh, this one uh, in the kitchen we are using the uh, vegetables for uh, cooking and uh, okay fruits for uh, with uh, okay spoiled fruits and it may be paper it may be say so many things bottles plastic bottles and uh, so many and this one uh, shampoo bottles are many things we are using there okay see we are throwing that waste that is the sources of the waste it may be shampoo bottle it may be so many things are shown in the, this one see so many things uh, it may be uh banana it may be the, this one so many vegetable and everything it may be chicken bones or uh, non veg who are eating non veg they are uh, eating uh, this one so many things we can uh, see in the 
uh, this one okay uh, solid uh, domestic uh, okay uh, domestic uh, res residential solid waste okay in this we can see lot of things this okay this is majorly used for after segregation more point it is used for composting this one we can do the composting in a residence also so many bin type materials this is came container okay we can do the in a single residential house from this food waste okay or organic waste we can do the composting easily we can do the composting okay in this uh, in a uh, lot of things I will explain one by one uh, in the, uh, this one. Okay, we can do the compost in a uh, residence only. I mean, uh, no need of throwing the waste or uh, uh, giving the waste to the municipality. You can put for uh, put in the uh, small. Uh, this is that uh, container. In that we can use the this one uh, organic waste. We can do the compost in the in our house only. Okay, this is the easiest method. We can put it for our uh, pot or uh, garden if you have the garden or anything. We can use that uh, compost only. Okay, by the organic waste. That's the best method we are processing now. Uh, okay, by uh, throwing the waste or anything. Okay, uh, then all uh, dry waste we can give for. Uh, we if we uh, have the time, we can separate and we can give for the recycling people. You have the plastic. We can give for the recycling people, and uh, if you have the paper, you can give cloth. Also, we can give. They will come and take the waste. That also we can do. We will get some of the income from that. Okay, compost. Uh, we are purchasing the compost. No need of purchasing. We can can do the compost in our uh, residence only. Okay, by this organic easiest method is that we can leave the worm, or uh, we can use the buttermilk to it. Okay, or cow dung slurry to it. Uh, if you keep that uh, okay in a closed uh, this one okay worm or uh, so many things are there we can do the composting that also one of the method we can do in this uh, this one okay this from this waste okay and sources of commercial waste okay it may be store medical store restaurant uh, market office building hotel print shop and uh, auto repair shops and uh, so many are there it may be stores in commercial means all uh, uh, co coming under uh, this one commercial outside it may be city it may be all the shops it may be medical shops it may be hotels so many uh, there's waste from the hotels okay medical shops also this uh, waste are there some of the waste some of the restaurant hotels uh, we have a lot of uh, waste okay it may be food waste from the hotel restaurant and uh, this all the waste are that it may be non veg means some of the bones and fish or uh, so many things are there office building government office building or private office building we have a lot of uh, waste okay it may be paper it may be anything okay and big hotel lodgings where that also waste are there okay they will eat the food and party halls and everything print shop there's a paper waste okay auto repair shops there are also some of the waste Okay, we can available commercial waste. Okay, see the waste. We can see the waste of the commercial. It may be paper. It may be okay. Uh, so many things. It may be uh, this also uh, commercial. Uh, some vegetable. Uh, this also it is there. And uh, fruit. Uh, this one flower. Uh, this one flower stall waste. And uh, so many market waste. So many uh, this one mutton stall or anything some of the waste we are throwing from the commercial all in the cities okay it may be hotel waste it may be okay uh, uh, this one restaurant or it may be so many things are there we are throwing that waste okay they have no time to segregate or anything okay this is a business matter in a uh, domestic uh, we have the time we can uh, separate the waste okay and we can do the composting or we can sell it but in commercial that is the uh, okay they have no time though they are uh, giving to the municipality people okay now also by the Swachh Bharat and uh, smart city they also have to separate dry waste and wet waste okay in the hotel they have to separate dry waste one wet waste one okay it is taken by the municipality people 
in this also okay it may be a hotel it may be store it may be anything dry waste strict rules are okay that municipality people easily they can segregate the waste one wet waste it can be uh, given for uh, composting or it is disposed to the site okay you can see lot of waste from the lot of commercial uh, cities it may be park it may be anything uh, restaurant uh, this one hotel lodging government office and private office lot of waste we are dumping this is the commercial waste sources of commercial waste okay next we go for uh, institutional waste see education institutional there is a very very important education this is lot of university education institute schools it comes from the schools high schools pc colleges okay degree colleges okay medical okay medical we are separating the medical biomedical waste i will tell okay it may be it is separated okay hostels so many things like universities like uh, visveshwara university like our university and so many universities are there bangalore university like private universities also there okay so many private universities are okay some community colleges also there so lot of these are the sources from which uh, waste will come okay education institute major it come from the hostels and uh, canteens okay cafeteria from there uh, we will get the food waste okay in office everything paper waste and other plastic waste and other thing okay in universities also same way the waste from the offices okay and waste from the hostels it is there okay so many students are living in the hostel and waste from the private universities also okay lot of uh, waste from the private lot of hostels are there boys hostel guest hostel pg hostels and uh, uh, that quarters for uh, uh, faculties non teaching faculty lot of things are there and community it may be muslim or any uh, college schools christian i go so many schools and universities are there okay this are the waste major waste from the office and waste from the hostel okay and it may be uh, this one uh, uh, hostel canteen cafeteria okay so many waste that will come okay this is a uh, uh, type of uh, institutional okay education institutional university private and community these are the waste uh, from the universities or it may be uh, colleges it may be schools or it may be uh, industries uh, uh, sorry it may be hostels it may be uh, uh, from the cafeteria it may be office see here office and food waste which also come agriculture waste also come uh, food waste and uh, so many wastes are comes here okay it from the garden i told garden waste also from this it all it will come here for the this institutional waste okay now it is a strict rule for the institution also uh, it is should be separated okay uh, dry waste and wet waste okay the from the municipality people or from the government okay they have to separate the dry waste and wet waste this also one of the important uh, this one okay they have to Uh, rules uh, they have to follow the rules now sources of waste from the factory industry okay this is assembly line job shop petroleum ke- petroleum chemical industry plastic and the food clothing textile so many industries are there okay petroleum bigger uh, big industries they have to follow the rules for the solid waste uh, it may be uh, small job shops uh, from job shop or uh, small shops to bigger industry it may be any type of the factory they have to follow this solid waste rules okay chemical uh, factories also they have uh, some of the chemicals they have to have some of the rules plastic factory also they have to have some of the rules okay food factory also they have to have some of the rules clothing and textile also they have to have uh, follow the some of the rules of the solid metal Uh, factories and uh, electronic factories electronic e waste so many e waste metal factories so many 
solid waste, uh, so many metal waste, everything is there. They have to follow uh, rules of the solid waste. Okay, these are the factories. So many factories are there. Okay, so many factories. Uh, it may be I showed lit, uh, uh, some of the factories. So many okay industries are there. All have to follow this solid waste rules management rules. They have different different factory have different rules for chemical factory have different rules for petroleum factory have different rules and uh, food factory have different rules and plastic factory have different rules. They have to follow the rules. Okay, and. Uh, Electronic e-waste, they have to uh, follow, they have another rules, different rule for the e-waste management and metal factory also have different rules, okay. These are the C industry, I uh, given some of the example, uh, small example for the industry C, this a uh, metal industry, it may be oil industry, it may be so many industries are throwing the waste, plastic industry, e-waste industry or anything, these are the sources of uh, uh, industries. Okay, these are the these are the same different types of industries. Okay, uh, types I have given uh, example of this. Okay, it may be iron or it may be some other plastic industry. It may be so many oil industry. Okay, lot of industries are there. These are the sources of. They have different in the industry factories. They have different rules. Okay, different rules are there. They have to follow the different rules in the industry. Okay, next we go for the sources of waste from the oil factory. This is one of the important, like ONGC oil, uh, okay, factories, uh, gas authorities of India, Kail, okay, Indian Oil Corporation Limited, and uh, this, uh, okay, uh, oil factories are bigger oil factory gas and in industries in, uh, in the Indian market. Okay, these are the different types of oil factory. They have a lot of waste oil waste and uh, different types of uh, wastes are there that uh, throwing the waste is uh, uh, a biggest uh, problem, one of the big problem. Okay, so they have some of the rules. Okay, oil factory have some of the rules. I uh, see in uh, Mangalore MRPL is there, so many Indian uh, ONGC uh, and uh, so many they have some of the rules. They cannot throw the waste directly to this one. They have some of, they have to uh, follow the waste management rules, okay, solid waste management rules by the authority or by the, this one, strict from the central government and state government. They have to follow the rules, okay. You can see the, okay, Hindustan Petroleum, this also oil industry, okay, can industry, Reliance Petroleum Limited, okay. These are the types of uh, industries, oil industry we can see in India. Okay, Hindustan Petroleum Oil India, okay, Reliance uh, they provide and uh, so many government, central government, they have to, they cannot throw the oil waste to directly. Okay, it is mixed with the water and it is very dangerous. Okay, it is mixed to the, this one, uh, our groundwater, only one source, pure water we have to, uh, that is the uh, drinking water, if it is spoiled with this oil mixed with the oil, then we cannot treat it. It is very difficult to treat. So, industry have strict regulation, okay, strict regulation, uh, okay, to the, this one, okay, uh, to, uh, they have to maintain the waste management rule, okay. Then we go for, uh, see the uh, example, you can see, if the oil industry, see, if they throw the oils, waste walls to the water, okay, it is uh, oil or it is a ground, see the position of the ground, see here, see all the oil waste, it moves to the water, okay, it moves to the ground, it contaminated ground water, okay, ground water is very important, only source we have underground water, that is a pure water ground, underground water is a pure water, that is a source of drinking for us. If it is mixed with the oil, it is very difficult, okay. And uh, this one, if it is mixed with the soil also, okay, soil also is very difficult, okay. If it is mixed with the soil and uh, this uh, uh, soil get contaminated and uh, for the agriculture, for the farmer, it is very, very difficult. 
So, this is also one of the important oil factory. Okay. And sources of the e-waste, we all know electronic waste, uh, uh, that is one of the, we cannot uh, dispose it, uh, that is the proper uh, channel for the disposal of uh, e-waste. Okay. It may be fridges, freezers and other cooling equipment, computer and telecommunication equipment, consumer uh, electronic device and solar panels. See, these are the okay, sources of e-waste. It may be fridges, freezers and cooling equipment. Okay, e-waste, this is the one of the major e-waste. Computer and telecommunication equipment, okay, this is also consumer electronic device and solar panels. This is also one of the important source of uh, major, we will get the major e-waste uh, from this. And uh, so many, this also there. TVs, monitors and screens, this is also e-waste. Uh, LED bulbs, lot of bulbs, spoiled bulbs, this is also uh, wandering machines. This is the sources of uh, e-waste. Sources of e-waste is very important. It is separated and it is uh, recycled some of the plastic waste and some are used for electronic, old electronic and this there is a lot of demand nowadays. Okay, lot of demand, okay, they will segregate it and uh, they are used this to, it also in the e-waste will get the gold, some of the, then in the mobile, uh, small quantity of gold and some of the material, useful material, okay, we, I will show in next uh, e-waste management, okay. Uh, that is very important, we will get a little bit income in the okay, e-waste. Okay, you can see the e-waste, major uh, mobiles that are waste, we are, nowadays uh, mobile is the major e-waste. Okay, we can see the mobiles and uh, some of the remote okay, and uh, some of the wires, some of uh, this one cables, okay, so many things, computer part and uh, this LED TV part and uh, bulb and lot of things are there in this uh, e-waste, okay, e-waste management. Now this one, uh, we can see the e-waste, uh, you can see the different types of e-waste, okay, this, it is recycled and uh, this uh, e-waste management, uh, next chapter is there, we will uh, module is there, in that I will explain how to dispose, transport and everything, okay, the e-waste. See now the type of sources of construction waste, okay, construction, lot of construction is going on, apartment, it may be a big buildings, uh, complex, okay, it may be hotel, it may be lot of building improvement, uh, okay, if the technology improvement and construction also improved, okay, lot of buildings are going on, lot of waste from the construction, okay, that may be dust, it create the major nuisance, okay. It may be concrete waste, it may be brick, it may be tiles, it may be ceramics, it may be wood, it may be glass, it may be plastic, okay. And uh, bituminous uh, mixture while doing the construction of the road also, coal and tar, this is one of the construction waste. Metallic waste, electrical wire, cable, soil, contaminated soil, stones, uh, ragging of spoil and gypsum. So many things are there in the construction, uh, that is the managing, that is the, we need a space for this. See here construction is going on, lot of demolished waste also, there old building and uh, some of the iron contains, lot of uh, uh, this also, wood is also there, uh, lot of things are there in this uh, waste, okay. We can see the lot of uh, uh, this one, okay, uh, waste in this, okay, it may be iron, it may be a brick, it may be tiles, it may be so many paint waste, it may be um, wooden waste, it may be lot of waste we are dumping. That managing the waste is very, very important. We have next uh, in the next model, how to manage the construction, recyc construction waste, recycle waste and uh, so many waste, uh, this one recycling of the, this is a major uh, big industry, uh, big uh, this companies has taken this to recycling and uh, reusing of the 
okay, this construction where. Agriculture based is one of the major uh, issues in agriculture. Okay, agriculture based produce for various agriculture operation. It may be many crops, but it may be flower, it may be fruits, it may be so many. Okay, agriculture based waste from the farms, uh, poultry house, and, uh, and harvesting waste of uh, and, uh, fertilizer. Lot of fertilizer we are using pesticides into the water. There is a lot of soil, this uh, okay, uh, salt drainage, athlete and salt drainage to the, from the field. Lot of problem from the agriculture waste. Major problem is we are using the pesticides and fertilizer. Okay, pesticides and fertilizer we are using that moves to the water. Okay, if it moves to the water, the source water get toxic and if it moves to the ground water, uh, the pure water is contaminated, it also becomes toxic, it is very very difficult to manage. So, agriculture waste is the important uh, waste, okay, uh, we have to manage, okay, it may be pottery, it may be from any other farms or it may be uh, from the harvesting waste, fertilizer runs from, see you can see the pesticides, so many things, see you can see this some fruits and uh, these are the waste, see here see different types of agriculture waste, okay, it may be fruits, it may be uh, we are throwing that unwanted, this one agriculture, okay, uh, flower it is there will and uh, pesticides, these are very, very important pesticides, this may be this one uh, chemical we are using, it moves to the, in a rainy season, it moves to the and we are eating that also, just very harmful to us also. So, uh, now from this waste we are converting into, see from the domestic waste we are converting uh, organ waste into manure. So, some uh, agriculture we are not using the chemical waste, we are using the organic manure. In that no chemicals are used, okay, no chemicals are used. So, this uh, manures are produced from the organic waste, that is the best waste. Uh, best uh, manure without any, there is no problem for the agriculture uh, this also. We are not using any pesticides, we are not using any chemicals in this and uh, this is the one of the waste we are using. Okay, waste from the food processing, uh, okay, sourced food processing, okay, it may be leaves, peels, okay, in stems, uh, seeds, all uh, vegetable, okay, salt foods, this also food processing, uh, this one, lot of uh, waste are there, are in stem seeds of spoil and uh, vegetables and uh, in, uh, okay, all these are uh, uh, from the food processing uh, waste, okay. See here, you can see the uh, drawing, all the stems, leaves, it may be flower, ma, this one and it may be fruits it may be food processing, it may be, uh, it may be anything, uh, uh, non this one mutton stall or any, any food processing factory companies or anything, they are throwing the, this type of waste. Okay. Biomedical waste, one of the important uh, waste from the hospital and uh, from the, this uh, medical colleges, uh, Okay, lot of waste from the human uh, waste like uh, tissues, organs and body part, uh, animal waste generated using research from the veterinary hospitals, microbiology and uh, biotechnical waste, waste sharp like uh, hypodermic needles, springs, scalpels and, uh, and broken glasses, uh, the machines, uh, medicines and uh, drugs okay and different types. See here, these are the hospital waste, we are uh, using this hospital waste, okay. Lot of it, this is, we have different uh, management is, uh, this is there uh, in the uh, government, biomedical waste, uh, okay, management. In this, this different types of bags are there, yellow bag, red bag, blue bag, white bag. We have to use different types of waste for different bags. Okay, different types of waste for 
different bags okay it may be one yellow it may be blue it may be okay uh, white it may be there is one different types of bags we have to use different types of waste I will explain in next module about the uh, biomedical waste okay how to use the biomedical waste how to transport the biomedical waste how to dispose how to treatment everything is a very very important it is not belong to solid waste management it is belong to biomedical waste management okay e waste also it is belong to e waste management okay other all okay solid waste and uh, different different types of that okay see sources and types of nuclear waste okay okay uh, radioactivity nuclear waste x rays high level okay transforming and a low level this all the nuclear waste okay very very dangerous okay this waste should be uh, this uh, should not move out it is packed properly okay this is very very important uh, types of the waste okay it is packed properly if it should not move outside it these signals are very very danger okay this is a nuclear waste okay this types of waste see here uh, this how they are uh, protecting how they are uh, uh, dress their uniforms so they should not uh, touch us the this waste this uh, waste we should not uh, touch to the human uh, almost to the human body and uh, very very uh, dangerous so radioactivity and it should not move to the atmosphere also it should not move to the uh, other humans the cancer and so many uh, diseases will comes to this one so we have to take proper precaution okay this uh, who a worker has to take proper precaution uh, to control this one okay uh, this waste okay this nuclear waste is very very important in a management of the nuclear waste okay this types of uh, nuclear waste okay the very very difficult okay and uh, the proper management government have different uh, it in the it is not mixed with the solid waste okay it is uh, it is with the other type of uh, management of the okay uh, different type of vehicle we are using this hazardous waste vehicle different types of disposal different types of treatment and everything we are using in this okay this was a waste okay and uh, now we go for the physical and chemical composition of the municipality waste okay a uh, solid waste municipality physical composition and chemical one by one i will explain what is uh, physical and uh, what is chemical composition of solid waste physical composition of solid waste municipality solid waste and chemical composition of municipality solid waste this one uh, physical in a uh, physical composition uh, organic waste such as paper and cardboard food yard trimming plastic organic waste such as metal and glasses we can find this organic waste such as paper major paper cardboard food waste in the physical composition not in a chemical yard trimming plastic organic waste such as uh, metal and uh, glasses okay how can we this one see, see here these are the uh, different types of the waste available okay 79 percent of food and vegetable waste and 10 percent of paper waste 3 percent of uh, plastics and uh, 2 percent of textile wood rubber and 1 percent of metal and tin and uh, 5 percent of others in this okay uh, see 10 uh, food and vegetable waste are uh, more uh, major in the physical composition and paper is 10%, 3% uh, uh, of uh, uh, plastic, 2% uh, of uh, uh, textile and 1% uh, of metal, 5% of others. This is a physical composition of the, the calculation of uh, this one, physical composition, some of the, this is the moisture content and 
so many things are there in the physical composition okay what are different types uh, we are food waste how much by the calculation and uh, paper waste how much okay plastic waste how much we are calculating the percentage and uh, we are uh, this one 10 3 2 1 and 5 or 100 uh, kg we are separating the waste into different category okay food waste how much and uh, paper waste how much and uh, plastic waste how much textile waste and uh, metal waste how much we are separating in the physical okay physical composition of this one okay there is uh, how much weight okay how much percentage and how much weight paper plastic and in the in a hundred this and uh, chemical composition of solid waste high moisture content high ash inorganic content low nitrogen phosphorus and potassium okay chemical composition okay chemical composition of municipality waste high moisture content in that high ash inorganic content low nitrogen phosphorus and potassium okay this is high moisture content in this uh, uh, in the physical chemical composition high ash inorganic content how much low nitrogen content phosphorus potassium in this we are calculating for the this one percentage of uh, materials in the physical composition okay in the chemical compo uh, chem uh, composition high moisture content high ash inorganic uh, content uh, low nitrogen phosphorus and potassium this is a important uh, physical and chemical composition we can see here uh, this one okay see the physical uh, composition parameter total solid volatile solid okay all this uh, this one ashes uh, total nitrogen cn ratio fat protein cellulose uh, uh, hemicellulose lignin and moisture content how much uh, weight fraction okay weight fraction 40 uh, 14.8 uh, total solids are there 89.5 volatile solids as uh, 10.5 and uh, total organic uh, carbon 49.7 uh, kajilal nitrogen 1.3 uh, carbon by uh, nitrogen weight ratio 38.2 fat 8.7 and protein 6.7 cellulose 14.9 uh, hemicellulose 9.9 .9, and lignin uh, 8.5 moisture contained 84.5 these are the different types of uh, physical and chemical composition of the okay physical and chemical composition physical i have explained here okay physical okay physical composition it may be paper cardboard food and uh, this one physical composition of uh, solid waste okay and uh, these are the food vegetable paper textile metal tins we can separate it in a graph okay now chemical also we have chemical composition different types and uh, this one okay we are calculation by this uh, calculation we can weight fraction this is okay and uh, we will go for uh, this one generation rate okay uh, generation rate solid waste generation rate estimated the amount of waste created by residents or a business over a certain amount of time day year etc okay solid waste generation rate estimated the amount of water waste generated waste generated amount of waste generated sorry by uh, by the residents or businesses over the certain amount of time it may be day it may be year that is we calculate this is the generation rate waste generation include all the material discard whether or not they are later recycled or disposed in the landfill okay waste generation we are took, uh, taken okay total okay waste generated per day it may be most to the 
uh, recycle or dispose, no, no, we will not consider total generation of the waste, okay. Total generation of the waste, okay, that yearly we are considered, yearly. Waste generation rate for a residential commercial activity can be estimated developing development of the local waste stream, okay, development of the local waste stream, okay, this, this is a type of a waste data, estimated amount of waste created by the residential or business certain time, day, okay, it may be year, etc., okay, one year, we may calculate how much waste is generated per day, how much waste, okay, before moving to the landfill or recycling, before moving to the landfill or recycling, okay, waste generated for the residential, okay, and commercial activity can be used, okay, estimated impact of new development of the, okay, waste streams, okay. Thank you, uh, dear student, next I will continue this uh, model, okay, thank you.